this demonstration we're going to look at setting DNS and routing within the VMware vSphere web client. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to launch up Chrome. And then within Chrome, what we're going to do next is we're just going to launch up the web client. So we'll just enter in the URL. We'll proceed. I'm just using the self-signed certificate. And then the next thing we'll do here is we'll just log in with our root username and password. All right, so we'll log in as root. Stick in the password. And this will then take us in the web client. Now, once we're in the web client, next thing to do here is I'm just going to come to vCenter. Within vCenter, I'm just going to go to Hosts and Clusters. Highlight my host that I haven't set the DNS settings on yet. And then what we're doing here is on the host, we're coming to the network networking tab. I come down to TCP IP configuration. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to edit these settings. When we edit the settings, one of the things we have here is we've got the DNS configuration. So all I'm going to do here is just type in the DNS settings for my DNS server. So what we're going to do here is just going to type it in. So it's 172.20.10.10. And all I'll do here is I'll make the alternate DNS server exactly the same. Now we've done that, we'll just go to routing. And all we'll do here is we'll just put in our default gateway settings as well. So in the case of mine here, it's exactly the same. So it's 172.20.10.10. And we'll just click OK at this point here. And now what we've done here is we've set up our DNS and our default gateway settings. That's it in this demonstration. Thanks very much.